Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel, where it is time for the Champions League match week number one predictions for the 2020-21 UEFA Champions League season. Now, there are a lot of good games to talk about. Uh, my game of the weekend, the week, is probably Bayern Munich against Atletico Madrid. I'm sure you have your own as well. But um, before we start, hit the like button, hit the share button, and if you are new, then please hit the subscribe button as well. So, the first game to preview and predict is Zenit Petersburg versus Club Bruges. Um, now... Uh, this is a 1755 kickoff. Um, now Zenit St. Petersburg, Russian champions, of course. Uh, they're all they're always they're always in the Champions League. They're always you know um, usuals in the Champions League. Um, but uh, this is a very interesting group because this is one with Lazio, Borussia Dortmund, Zenit St. Petersburg, and Club Bruges. So. These two, I, you would probably expect Lazio and um, Borussia Dortmund to go through this group. So it's, it's all a case about possibly, you know, Europa League uh, football as well. Um, now, Zenit St. Petersburg, uh, well, the most notable player probably in their team is Dejan Lovren. Now, that, that, is, that, is, that is something you can say for sure. Um, Club Bruges were rocked by the news that goalkeeper Simon Mignolet has contracted COVID-19, so he will miss the game against Zenit St. Petersburg. Um, so, a really, really interesting game, this one. Uh, I'm going to go for a Zenit win, though. I think Zenit will win in Russia. Seem to do very well in Russia as well. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Zenit St. Petersburg. As I've said, all these games are behind closed doors, so maybe home advantage is gone. Maybe. We will see what happens, but... I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Zenit St. Petersburg. Dynamo Kiev against Juventus now. Dynamo Kiev and Juventus have not been in a Champions League group since 2002-2003. And this was a wee while ago, wasn't it? So, um, of, you know, Dynamo Kiev and Shakhtar Donetsk, the um, Ukrainian teams this year, um, looking very, very good. I mean, Shakhtar and, as I've said... Um, you know, Shakhtar are very good. I actually think it's going to be a very interesting game, this one, because you have to say that, um, you know, Dynamo Kiev, uh, Dynamo Kiev are a tricky team, uh, but they are coming up against the Juventus side, managed by Andrea Perlo now, which is very, very good. Um, there may not be Cristiano Ronaldo, though. He is having to self-isolate because he has... COVID-19 that he picked up on Portugal duty. So that's something to look ahead. But I think Juventus will be far, far, far too strong for Dynamo Kiev. I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Juventus. I think Juventus will be too strong for Dynamo Kiev. And uh, Dynamo Kiev could be... Well, I wouldn't say the whipping boys because you have got Ferenc Varos, you've got Barcelona and Juventus in this group, uh, as well, along with Dynamo Kiev. So uh, I I think Juventus will be too strong for the, for Dynamo Kiev. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Juventus. And now we move into Group E, and it is Chelsea against Sevilla. These are 8 o'clock kickoffs. Uh, the two games that are 17.55 are Zenit Petersburg, Club Bruges, and Dynamo Kiev, Juventus. So that is something to say for sure. So Chelsea against Sevilla. Well, Chelsea drew 3-3 against um, Southampton at the weekend. Sevilla, um, not sure what, not sure how they did uh, in in their in their game, but um, I think people are underestimating the Sevilla side, and I'm going to say this now. Um, I'm going to say Sevilla will win that group with, uh, alongside Chelsea. I do think Sevilla will win this group. This game, however. I'm actually going to go for a draw. I'm actually going to go for a draw. Chelsea seem to be draw specialists when it comes to the Champions League uh, as well. Um, drew 4-4 with Ajax last season as well. If you remember that that game, that was a crazy game of football, that one. Absolutely crazy game of football, that one. So um, I'm going to say I'm going to say that Chelsea will draw with Sevilla. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this game. Um, but we'll see what happens. And we have two newcomers now in Ren and Krasnodar. I think I've pronounced that right. Um, Ren 
Um, you have to say they've done very, very well in France. Uh, French Ligue 1. Uh, getting into the Champions League was fantastic uh, last season. Krasnodar, another Russian team. Very, very uh, good Russian team uh, as well. So very, very well done for them to get into the you know the Champions League. Um, Ren, I, I mean, notable players to come out of Ren. Um, Kamaviga, that might be one to watch for sure. Um, French, um, 18 year old. Um, looks a fantastic talent, doesn't he? He looks a really, really good talent, him. So he's one to look out for. Um, notable names that come out of Wren, um, as Melia Sar as well. Um, Watford, uh, Watford at the moment, but a very, very good, uh, good player to have come out from that uh, that Wren side. So I'm gonna go for a Wren win. I'm gonna go for a Wren win. I think it'll be a tight one. I'm gonna go for a two-one win to Wren in this game. I'm gonna go for a two-one win. And now this is probably another game of the week as Lazio against Borussia Dortmund. Lazio back in the Champions League after a, I think I think if I read that read this right, seventeen year absence in the Champions League. So it's been a long, long time since they were in the in the Champions League. Lazio, but I tell you something, it's going to be a really interesting game. Borussia Dortmund. Uh, well, they've still got Jaden Sancho. They do, still do have Jaden Sancho. They've got Erling Haaland. They've got a really, really good team as well. 1-1-0 one, one, against Hoffenheim at the weekend as well. So that was a very, very good result for uh, for Borussia Dortmund. Um, because it's in Italy, I think Lazio will return to the Champions League with a win. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. To Lazio in this game. I think Lazio will win this one. Going to go for a 2-1 win to Lazio. And that is the other game in the Zenit of Petersburg Club Bruges group. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Lazio. And now we have Barcelona against the Hungarian champions. Is it the Hunga Hungarian champions? Ferenc Varos. Uh, Ferenc Varos, congratulations to them for qualifying from the Champions League. If people remember that they, they they were the team that beat Celtic on the way to qualifying for this competition, so that's that is one thing you could say for sure. Um, yeah, a difficult one. To, uh, well, it's not really difficult because Barcelona uh, lost one nil to Getafe mid we uh, last night, so that was that was really interesting as well. Ferenc Varos going really well in the Hungarian league, as as we know for sure, but. Uh, I can really only see a Barcelona win, to be honest. I, I think Barcelona will win this one pretty comfortably. Going to go for a 4-0 win to Barcelona, but maybe I'm being a little bit too too, uh, too harsh on uh, Ferenc Varos. But welcome to the Champions League, Ferenc Varos. Your first game away at Barcelona. Good luck. Um, PSG against Manchester United now. PSG going very well in uh, Liga 1. Uh, Manchester United won four one away at Newcastle United. Looked very very good as well. Um, not bad considering they conceded after uh, you know um, two minutes uh, from a Luke Shaw own goal. But it was a very very good performance from Manchester United, and they'll be key to go to Paris. And we all know what happened the last time they went to Paris. They won three one there as well. So that that's something you could say. Um, so I'm going to go for a PSG win to get revenge over Manchester United. I think PSG will win this one pretty comfortably. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to PSG in this game. So we'll see We'll see what happens. And the final game on Tuesday is RB Leipzig versus Istanbul Basak Seer. This is the final game of the um, Group H games for sure. Leipzig, of course, 1-2-0 away at Augsburg. Uh, recently as well Istanbul Basaksehir are the Turkish champions but have started the season really poorly I do do believe I haven't checked results recently but they were in the relegation zone quite 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 uh, quite astonishing when you know um, when they were the Turkish champions last season very very weird run of affairs as well but uh, because of that I'm going to go for a Leipzig win uh, Leipzig are at home as I've said going to go for a 2-0 win to uh, Istanbul Basak Seer. I'm going to go for... Uh, sorry, a 2-0 win to uh, RB Leipzig. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to RB Leipzig. And now we move into the Wednesday games and the first game of Group A is taking place. It is RB Salzburg versus Lokomotiv Moscow. RB Salzburg have, have, have had some very good players over the years. 
Uh, Takumi Minamino, Hawan, Chi, uh, ha, 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 Hawan Lee Chan as well. Very, very good um, forward that they've, they've, uh, they've sadly let go to, uh, you know, Salzburg. Very, very good indeed. So that's one thing I can say. And I'm, I'm going to say this, like Lokomotiv Moscow, again, Champions League regulars, you'd have to say for sure. Um, so I am actually going to go for a Salzburg win here. I'm going to go for a bit of a goal fest in this game. Both sides uh, don't seem to defend very well. Salzburg are one of those teams where they attack really, really well, but don't um, but don't uh, actually uh, defend very well. So I'm going to go for Salzburg 4, Lokomotiv Moscow 2. Might 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 be a bit uh, a, a bit random, but we'll we'll see see what happens for sure. But yeah, four two to Salzburg, Real Madrid against Shakhtar Donetsk. That's is the other game on um on Wednesday at seventeen fifty five. Yeah, Real Madrid losing one nil to Getaf uh, to Cadiz last night as well, which was absolutely mad. Um, yeah. It's not looking good for Madrid. Madrid and Barcelona are not playing very well at the moment. And uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, um, Ukrainian champions yet again, which is fantastic to see. But yeah, they're Champions League regulars as well. Um, nice of them not to be in a group in Manchester City, though, you'd have to say, because those two seem to like playing each other for, for sure. So if I'm going to go for a Real Madrid one. I think, I think Real Madrid should bounce back from that shocking defeat to Cadiz. Uh, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to Real Madrid. And now my game of the Champions League week is Bayern Munich against Atletico Madrid. Two sides who I feel could potentially win their uh, leagues this season. Especially with the um, uncertainty over Barcelona and Real Madrid. Atletico Madrid have started very, very well. They have the firepower of Luis Suarez. They have the firepower of Joao Felix. They have the firepower of Diego Costa. So it's going to be a really interesting game. But the champions of last season, of course, Bayern Munich. Um, they've started well. They've started very, very well. Again, 4-1 win over Armenia Bielefeld uh, as well. And um, looking pretty, pretty comfortable, aren't they, uh, Bayern Munich? So I'm going to go I'm gonna go for them to scrape this one. I think it'll be a very, very close game. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. To Bayern Munich in this game. I do think Bayern Munich will win that game. But we'll see what happens. Um, and the second game in Real Madrid's group. And it's a cracking game uh, in store for sure. Inter Milan against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, both of these sides, it has to be said. Well, Borussia Mönchengladbach drew with Wolfsburg at the, at the weekend. Inter Milan lost the Milan derby to AC Milan. So that... Um, That'll be interesting to see, but uh, Inter Milan, uh, they did very well to get to the you know the the Europa League final against Sevilla. Unlucky to lose three two in the end, and it's a great it's great to see Borussia Mönchengladbach back in the Champions League, isn't it? Very very good to see them back, and um, I, I think it's I think it's going to be a, a draw in this one. I'm going to go for a one one draw in this one. I I think Borussia Mönchengladbach will be a bit of a threat in this uh, competition. They've got good firepower. As of Inter Milan, so it's, it's a good game in store for sure. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this game. And then we move into Group C, which is Manchester City against FC Porto. Now, Man City won 1-0 against um, Arsenal at uh, the weekend. Uh, FC Porto going well in the Portuguese league as well. Uh, they have lost Alex Tellez. So, you know, Porto are going to be a very good team, I think. And um, never write them off because they are a very, very good side, uh, our FC Porto. But you would expect Manchester City to win. Uh, I'm going to go for a narrow 2-1 win to Man City. I think Porto will make it pretty difficult for them uh, as well. But I'm, I am going to go for a, a Man City win because it is at the Etihad. But I just think that Man City will win this one uh, very, very narrowly. By two goals to one. Olympiacos Marseille is the other game in Manchester City's group. Um, really difficult to call because Olympiacos going well in the Greek league. Well, they are, they always seem to go well in the Greek league, don't they? Um, and um, very very good for them to you know qualify yet again. Great to see Marseille back in the Champions League as well. 
Um, yeah, it is, it is. It is fantastic to see Marseille back. And uh, Andre Villas Boas manages Marseille now as well. And they've got some very good players: Florian Tovan, Dimitri Payet, of course. I think Marseille will go away to uh, Greece and get a 2-1 win. And I've actually said that Marseille will probably qualify with Manchester City. I'm, I'm going to say that for, for sure. But uh, to begin with, I'm going for a 2-1 win to Marseille in this one. And the first meeting since the 60s. Yes, 1966 was the last time Ajax and Liverpool both met. Ajax going really well in... Um, in the Dutch league, Liverpool going okay in the in the Premier League as well. Um, the now there there is no news on Virgil Van Dijk. There is no news on Thiago as well. But you would expect them both to miss the game against Ajax. Uh, really hard one to call. Um, in fact, Liverpool played Ajax twice and they've lost once and drawn once. Um, and I am actually going to say that uh, Ajax will get a draw. Against Liverpool. I'm going for a 2-2 in this game. Going for a 2-2 in that game. And FC Michelin against Atalanta closes out the match week number one for the Champions League. Um, Michelin, I think it's their first time in the Champions League as well. Um, last time we saw them, they, they did beat Manchester United in the Europa League when Louis van Gaal was in charge. So that's something as well. But Denmark's a very tricky place to go to. There's no denying that as well. Atalanta, probably the story of the Champions League last season. Uh, there's no doubt about it. They got to the semi-finals, knocked out by PSG. Very unlucky it was as well. Um, I think they're going to be the threat to Liverpool in this group. I really, really do. So I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 win to Atalanta in this game so that does it that does it for the champions league match week number one fixtures i will go for my predictions very very quickly if you would like to join in then please leave your predictions in the comment section down below but i'll go for my predictions very very quickly zenit 2 club bruges nil dynamo kiev dynamo kiev uh nil juventus three chelsea one sevilla one ren two krasnodar one lazio two borussia dortmund one Barcelona 4, Ferenc Varos 0, PSG 3, Manchester United 1, RB Leipzig 2, Istanbul Basaksehir 0, then moving on to Wednesday games, Salzburg 4, Lokomotiv Moscow 2, Real Madrid 3, Shakhtar 1, Bayern Munich 2, Atletico Madrid 1, Inter Milan 1, Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, uh, Manchester City 2, FC Porto 1, Olympiacos 1, Marseille 2, Ajax 2, Liverpool 2, and FC Michelin 0, Atalanta won. So that is it. That is match week number one for the Champions League. Done and dusted. As always, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And we'll see how well people do as well. And if you are the highest scorer, then you will get a shout out in the next video. It's great that the Champions League is back of uh, uncertain times, of course. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the, how, how the Champions League does uh, behind closed doors it'll be really interesting to see so yes guys the champions league does return at uh, on tuesday and wednesday and i'm sure we'll get some very good games but if you are new around here then please hit the subscribe button smash a like on this video as well and uh, yeah we'll see what happens in the champions league some very good games Bayern munich atletico madrid inter milan borussia munchen gladbach manchester city fc porto psg manchester united chelsea sevilla Ajax, Liverpool. So some very, very good games for sure. And I'll see you all in the next one. We'll see what happens in the Champions League. Enjoy your Champions League midweek. We'll see what happens. See you later. Bye-bye.